Hello crafters and welcome to today's video on how to make the stencils for my cornhole boards. So recently I just posted a video on how to make these exact cornhole boards. So, and unfortunately that video was way too long for me to include this. So let's share how to make the stencil. So as always, when I'm making any design, I like to make a template, and this is exactly what you see on the left-hand side. So I'm inputting the exact measurements of the cornhole boards and then just changing the color to a light color because again, I'm a visual person. So the dimensions were 24 by 30. Again, you will see a lot of those little triangles on the right-hand side because this is way too big of a project. We're not cutting these templates at all. This is just for visual purposes. Once I select the color of the board, then I'm going to click the shape tool again. You can either click the square or the rectangle and I'm going to make the outside border of the cornhole board. This is really important because you don't want to make the inside stencil too big so it overlaps those painted white lines. And as mentioned in the video, I'm using one and a half size frog tape and I'm painting the border one and a half inches. So I'm making that the width and then the length of the board. Once that is completed, we can head over to Canva and this is where I created my design. A lot of you were asking what the fonts were that I used and they were all from Canva, so I will show you how. So the font was Cardo, but as I click on each element, you can pause this video to see what size I did for each element. But the stencil is, I did the last name initial, and then I did our last name and spaced it out. And then I searched in elements to do the two lines that went on the top and bottom of the name. And then I adjusted them to the length and a little bit longer than the last name. So this will have to be adjusted if your last name is shorter or longer. And then last Last but not least, I added the date of our wedding reception. And again, for the dimensions of this Canva project, I did make it the same dimensions as the cornhole board, so it wouldn't be a little wonky when I uploaded it into Cricut Design Space. Next to share it, of course, if you're familiar with Canva, you will click share and then download. If you are unfamiliar with Canva and how to use it, it is a very basic system that I do have a tutorial on that I will link the card for right here. So I upload it into Cricut Design Space. I'm comparing it to the left side because that is the same size. And then I'm just placing it in the middle to see where I like it. If I want it a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, this part is completely up to you. I did not put the design exactly in the middle of the corner board. I put it on the bottom. Now the problem that we have is on the right hand side, you see that the triangle symbol is there, which means that the Cricut cannot cut this project because it is too big. So to bypass that, what I do is I use the slice tool and I cut up the design. I split it in half and I did the middle initial on its own and then the rest of it um, is gonna be all together so keep a mental note when you are doing both cornhole boards what is the measurement between the bottom of that initial and the top of the line now I'm going to delete that because we are just creating one stencil for today's video and then I'm going to hide or delete whatever is best. I like to hide everything just because in case if I need to go back, if I made a mistake, I'm hiding everything besides the two stencil elements. And then we can click save, of course, because we do not want our hard work to be deleted. And then we can click make it. Since this is a bigger design, please make sure that you do have the 12 by 24 inch Cricut mat, or if you have the Cricut Maker 3, you know, you can use Smart Vinyl with this as well. Here I'm positioning the stencils. I want to move the stencils a little bit further away from the corner of the mat, just because these are stencils and you want a little bit extra room because of the paint. Next, I have my really dirty <laughs> Cricut mat. Please don't judge me. This is right before I moved, so I overused it. And here I'm measuring where to cut my premium removable vinyl. I always use premium removable vinyl. That will be linked in the video description for any of my stencil painting videos. Once that is cut, I will place it down onto the Cricut mat and use my brayer tool to give it a firm roll onto the mat. And I'm so sorry for the blurriness. My camera was being a little weird that day. Then we will set the settings to premium vinyl and the Cricut will cut the stencil. I did both the M and the second half of the stencil. And 
now it's time to weed. Weeding anything that you're painting or using a stencil for, you're weeding the actual letters because that's what we're painting. So instead of weeding the background, I'm removing the actual M. And then for this part, I'm weeding the actual letters, numbers, and lines. And I did briefly mention the circle stencil in the video, but I just wanted to share it here as well. I did make the circle an inch and a half bigger than the actual cornhole board circle. So it was eight and a half inches. But that is how you create these stencils to the cornhole boards. I will link the cornhole board part one video in the video description as well as throughout this video. And if you have any other questions, please put them in the comment section. I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye.